Hello lords and ladies, welcome to Cartoon Hangout. Today I'll be discussing the first episode of the Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon. I was a tad bit nervous about reviewing this because while I really love the movie, my knowledge of the Guardians lore is limited compared to my Spider-Man knowledge. But let's get into it anyway. First off, I'm not going to commit to doing re weekly reviews for this show unless you viewers want me to. So how about if we get 10 likes on this video, I'll consider doing the rest of season 1. Now, the cartoon is meant to be a spiritual continuation of the first film's plot. So in a way, you can think of this cartoon as the movie sequel, but it's solely in the Marvel Animated Universe, not the cinematic one. The group has just formed after the events of the first film, and Quill has tricked them into freeing Yondu, the alien who abducted him from Earth as a child. But it turns out Yondu also sold them out so that he could get his hands on something called the Cosmic Seed. So I can't be sure that this artifact is actually taken from the comics, but it may be related to the Cosmic Cube. The only other seeds I could think of would be the Life Seed, Death Seed, and the Galactus Seed. Life and Death were designed by Celestials, while the Galactus Seed was made by Eternity. And of course, Nowhere is built in the remains of a Celestial's head, so I may be onto something, especially since when Quill picks up the Cosmic Seed, he is briefly shown some other artifact that has a design similar to the Life and Death Seed. When the Guardians bring the artifact to Nowhere to pawn it, it seems to awaken the Celestial's head and attacks them, Yondu's pirate, and Korath, who has caught up to them. One of my favorite parts of the episode had to be the introduction of Cosmo. I only know a tad bit about the Soviet dog, but it was very exciting to see him appear in the show. In the comics, he first appeared in Nova Volume 4, Issue 8. I mean, what's more adorable than a Russian dog? Shake, good humanoid. When I saw the promo for this first episode, I was a bit worried I couldn't review it, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how decent it was. I say this because the rest of Marvel's current school of animation is... lacking. If you're a huge fan of the movie, you'll love this cartoon. If you're a fan of the comic book, well, I can't be sure you'll like it as much, but you'll hopefully dig the little comic book easter eggs like Cosmo. Something else I forgot to mention would be the voice actors. Obviously, they couldn't hire the movie actors, what with them being too expensive and all, you have Will Friedle as Peter Quill, a choice I absolutely freaking love, by the way. If you don't recognize his voice, he also did Ron from Kim Possible, he was Eric on Boy Meets World, and he did Terry McGinnis from Batman Beyond. Then you've got Vanessa Marshall as Gamora, who sounds a bit like Jennifer Hale to me. You may know her as the voice of Black Canary Young Justice, or perhaps Mary Jane in Spectacular Spider-Man. So yeah, I'm, I'm really digging her inclusion in this show as well. And I'm not going to get into the others, you can always look them up as they do a decent job at their respective roles. So, I think this was a really good start to the show. The comedy parts were amusing and the action scenes didn't look terrible. I hope it continues to have this level of quality in the following episodes because, like I said before, Marvel's other cartoons right now aren't as good as their earlier ones like Spectacular Spider-Man or Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. As I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not planning to do more reviews for this cartoon. This was just me informing you about the show. However, if you do want me to continue doing reviews for Guardians of the Galaxy, just hit that like button and leave me a comment. If I get 10 likes or more by the end of the week, I will do more reviews for this show. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review of episode 1. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.